This video is brought to you in part by the patrons of the Lazy Eyebrow, and from the comments and watch time from viewers like you. Thank you! Basically, my solar power tower would increase our ability to harvest energon by about 700%, giving us a near infinite supply for us without damaging the natural ecosystem found on this planet. Hmm. While I admire your efforts, I have to ask, would this be something that Decepticons would want? Well, I uh, hadn't considered it, but I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. Then I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline your proposal. If the Decepticons shouldn't have it, then the sad reality is that none of us should have it. I'm sorry, Grapple. <sighs> I guess you're right, Optimus. Wheeljack, what do you got for me today? I call it the Immobilizer Ray. Whoever or whatever you fire this thing on goes into stasis, presumably forever. Hmm. Well, I have to ask you the same thing. Would the Decepticons want this? Oh, heck, I don't know. Good enough for me. I want 50 more made the moment you get the chance. All right, B. Good night. Optimus? Yeah, B. Do you think maybe you could read me a stasis time story? Oh, all right. You earned it, little guy. This is the story of the three little minicons. Once upon a time, there were three minicons. One was a pacifist, another tried to get along with everyone, and the third one always looked at the Energon Cube half empty. One day, their leader came up to them and said, All right, guys, I've got a special operation for you. Beachcomber, I want you to take this prototype processor and upgrade the detection grid. You got it. Wind Charger, take this hyperspanner and go calibrate Teletran 1's magnetic resonance imager. I'll get right on it. And Gears, you can, uh... I don't know, restock Energon cubes or something. Stupid waste of time, can't even think of an actual job for me, just as I be busy. Very good, off you three go. Stand. Well, I'm off to upgrade the detection grid. Should be a piece of cake. I'll be over here messing with magnets. Shouldn't take me too long. I hate the both of you. And here we go with a one, a two, and a... What are you doing, Beachcomber? Oh, I'm just installing this processor into the detection grid. Should make them work faster, so Optimus says. Well, I could use a new processor. Give it to me. I need it. Uh, not by the gears in my hefty best chest. Well, then I'll huff, and I'll whine, and I'll complain your ear off. <gasps> All right, all right, just take the dang thing! Can I lend a hand? Are you done already? Actually, uh, no. Hoffer decided to pay me a visit and demanded the new chip. Uh, I couldn't say no. Psh, he do stop being such a pushover. Hoffer's harmless. Wind Charger, did you take the hyper spanner? Uh, yep, just calibrating the magnetic imager. Well, I need this wrench for my kitties! Yeah, well, no. You're not getting this by the rust in my musty gust dust. Well, then I'll huff, and I'll whine, and I'll complain your ear off. <gasps> That's not gonna work, Hopper. Could you please stop? Come on, cut it out. Oh, fine, just take the dang thing! Gears, we're helping you. I don't care, I don't want to do this thing anyway. Bunch of useless work, don't know why. Gears, I need- no! And they never heard from old Huff again. Now sleep tight, Bumblebee. But why didn't Huffer just- I said goodnight! Old friend, you kept this planet safe. Because of you, we have a future at B-127. My name is- Bumblebee. Very well, Bumblebee. Wait. Bumblebee? Like, the honey-making insect on this planet? I see. I've been asking you for two million cycles to pick a name instead of the chassis model you've been making us call you. And you pick up all things an Earth insect? Guys, get a load of this! Uh, Prime, can't wait. Sort of in the middle of atmospheric entry here. I don't think I need to tell you how focused we need to be on this stage. This can't wait. Guess what? Bumblebee 127 finally called himself Bumblebee. Like the Earth insect? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh! Someone just burn up? Eh, just huffer. We'll be down in a bit. Skyfire reports that the Seekers took out one of his thrusters and that his navigation is down. Alright, head over to Teletrain and monitor the situation. Optimist, this weather bulletin just came off the wire. Have a look. Will Jack, what can you make out of this? What, this? Why, I can make a hat, an arm shield, a pair of trousers. Alright, alright, give me that. Earthrise Ironworks is so powerful he can turn off a grapple. Oh. But now he feels useless, so it gives him another one. Double crane power! Repair, repair. <laughs> Teletrain, how long have we been out? That long, eh? Alright, gotta get the rest of us rebooted. Alright, Autobots, we've crash landed on a planet with creatures much smaller than we are. Thankfully, they've passed the industrial age, and their machines happen to be the sides we already transform into. I can't imagine what we would have done had we ended up in their prehistoric era. Teletrain 1 probably would have fixed us up to look like their wildlife or something. <laughs> Can you imagine? That aside, Teletrain has done the liberty of sending out a drone and scanning new forms for us to disguise ourselves. It may not be our sleek Cybertronian vehicle modes, but it'll have to do. Who wants to go first? I'll go first, Prime. Alright. Show us the damage. Hey, hey, actually, that doesn't look too bad. Looks as though these Earth Cats have got some style. Yeah, it kinda does. Alright, your turn, Wheeljack. Sure thing. Man, that looks awesome. I'll say, this is loads better than that transport van I was. Man, I wonder if I'll still be that odd shape I was. Oh, big and chunky at the front with a thin rear end. Well, Prime, the way I sees it, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. All right, Teletran, as Jazz would say, lay it on me, man. Huh. Well, I'm um, still the same shape. Uh, you know what? I like it. Look at how much more sleek and aerodynamic I look. Man, I can easily see this. <laughs> Teletran, what the heck is this? The rest of your mode. What do you mean, the rest? I don't know, Prime. I think it could come in handy. Look! Great. Not only do I have to haul around a garage on wheels, I also get to lug around your sorry chassis, too. That sounds awful. Wait a minute. Huffer, your mode back on Cyrotron is like mine, but smaller. I'll bet you have a trailer, too. I better not, otherwise you'll never hear the end of it. Well, what the heck is this? How come I have one and you don't? I mean, come well, on. hang on a minute, Prime. I'm sure we could make some use of this. Welcome to Takamas Prime, home of the Takamas Prime. Our special today is the Omega Fry Supreme. What can I get for you today? The Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. Alright, Autobots. Teletran has picked up the Decepticons in the Southern Hemisphere. Jetfire is... <laughs> Right, Optimus? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Really, this is good aluminum. A little heavy on the electrons, though. Good raid, Decepticons! Finally, we can learn the true source of Optimus Prime's power. Starscream, what's your problem? Get up here! This is not as easy as you told me it would be, Megatron! Alright, got my coffee in hand. Time to start the day. Oh, oh. Almost forgot good etiquette. Pinky's up! <laughs> hey, hey you! What? Can I interest you in a deal? It's over, Prime! Stand down or Iota sound live to blow up New Jersey! Alright, Megatron. You win. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on you, Buckethead! Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Decepticons. All right, Astro Train, stick them up. Hey, what's, what's up, Prime? I've got you now, you screwy shuttle. All right, you yeah. got me. 
Astro Season! Huh. SLS just unlocked. Hey kid, wanna well, let me take you for the ride of your life? Heck yeah I do! Alright Mr. CEO, so here's what I'm thinking for our 35th anniversary. I'm thinking a subline of repaints of characters that everybody will love. With you so far? So I'm thinking Optimus and Megatron. Optimus and Megatron are so well known. They're the leader of the Autobots and Decepticons, respectively. So I figure a Devastation-style cell-shaded repaint of the both of them would sell like hotcakes. I mean, that art style was really well liked by a good portion of our customer base. What else do you got? Alright, so everyone loves Soundwave, and everyone loves black repaints. Black Bumblebee? Is that what I'm hearing? Simmons, you're a genius! Actually, no, I was thinking more along the lines of Sound Blaster, that one character from the Headmaster's cartoon where he was rebuilt from Soundwave. And then we'll do Black Bumblebee. Actually, I was thinking more along the lines of a repaint of Prowl, into this really niche character that very few people have heard of into... Blue... Blue... Blue Streak? Is that how you pronounce his name? You mean that character we made eight different versions of in our Masterpiece subline and they all sold like hotcakes? Yeah, I figured he was niche enough for a limited run. He's practically unheard of. You hear that, Jeffries? Now this is why Simmons is my idea, man. He's a genius! You think this is a good idea? Just wait till you hear about my plan for an extra room make everything an exclusive. Pass the firewall. Accessing the database. 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 Downloading database. Disabling Cortana. Turning XMP off. Unblocking CPU. Installing spyware. Scrambling circuits. Freeze! Cheese it, it's the fuzz! What gave you what was that your first idea? clue? You're the worst, blue guy. No, I'm not. I'm the strongest Decepticon there is. Fear me, for I am... Kaka! Oh, you have slain me before I've had a chance to speak with my true name. No way! Can you play? Sir, who are you? Billy, but my friends call me Pew Pew. Who is this guy? Oh, that's... Billy! Rebel! How many times have I told you we don't hang out with Decepticons? You remember what happened to Red? Ripple, we take from the Autobots, not share our toys with them. This is all your fault. Me? I went to get some Energon. He was playing just fine by himself and nobody's around for miles when I left him here an hour ago. Billy, you want to get murdered? Because that's all these no-good Decepticons do. Nothing but a bunch of murderers. Excuse me, did you say we are the problem? Because I distinctly recall your leader completely destroying Lord Megatron, and he hasn't been the same since. What? He only did that in response to your leader taking out Ironhide! That was self-defense. Ironhide shouldn't grab his leg like that. You weren't there, you wouldn't know. Ripple, I don't want you hanging around this boy. He's bad news. Yeah? Well, don't talk to me or my son ever again. I finally have some dirt on Soundwave! With his knowledge, Megatron is finally going to make me his most trusted Decepticon! So I was- Skyward, what are you doing? All Decepticons report to the bridge! Alright, I guess we'll reconvene in an hour to talk- so That's my news. Pretty great, eh? Oh. I finally have some dirt on Soundwave! I'm Soundwave. Who the heck are you? I, I just told you. Listen, I'm from the future. How dare you point at me? You were pointing first. It's rude to point. You're pointing right now. Look, I'm not right now. Look at I'm your pointing, pointing at your building right, right, right now. now. Good job, Ramhorn. You did it. What? Ramhorn is evolving! Psst, huh? Hey, Billy. Oh. Hi, Ripple. Wanna play? My dad said I can't hang out with you. Why? He said all Decepticons do is murder, pillage, and plunder. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I know, but- I don't even know what this dumb war is about. I say we say forget it and run away, so where they'll never find us. You think we can do that? Yeah. We'll go to a new planet. We'll call it Paradron 2, and nobody will ever tell us what to do again. Oh, alright. Let's go. Bill and no! Wow. You know, you really gotta admire that. Such bravery, such courage. I don't think I could ever be more proud of my. Let's jump and go!
Hey, Blaster, uh, you weren't thinking of using that, were you? Uh, maybe. Can you give me a good reason not to? Well, I'm glad you asked. I wrote a song just for this occasion. You what? Oh. I already don't like the sound of this one. Oh, blue screen inducing. My favorite. Please don't use your crystal rifle, oh, Blaster. What? The love you deny is the key that will melt the lock. Love? Who are you? Our golden shining spirits will <sighs> all join hands and sing. Please don't use your crystal rifle. No. Master. Please don't use your crystal rifle. I'm not agreeing to nothing. don't use your crystal rifle. Blaster. Blaster. Shut up. Transformers will return after these messages. We now return to the Transformers. You wanted to see me, Doc? Yes, Prime, sit down. Right, so what's this all about? Well, your test results are back in, and uh, it's, it's not good. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, Prime, but you've really let yourself go. Well, I can't help that. Since the humans got whatever it is going on, there hasn't been much activity and we're all just sitting around, drinking our fill of energon and waiting for something interesting to happen. Well, I'm putting you on a strict two-cube diet until you can slip those parts down to a healthy vehicle shape. Can you even transform anymore? Sure I can. I just don't feel like it right now. Alright, well, with that out of the way, I wanted to talk to you about something else. Huh? I've been doing routine physicals on the crew in the abundance of downtime, and I've made an unsettling <gasps> discovery. These are the scans of the Protectobots, Power Glide, Bumblebee, and Wind Charger. What am I looking at here? Everything about them. The strength of their joints, the tolerances of their moving parts, right down to the quality of their molecular structure. It's off. In what way? Here's a comparison to our molecular structure. It's tight-knit. The density of our body panels is strong. Theirs are brittle and weak. It's not the profile I have stored on their file. So, what are you suggesting? This is a classic case of Narkoffian Syndrome, which means we have imposters on board. Imposters? On my arc? Never! Call one of them in. Let's get to the bottom of this. Well, Streetwise and Blades are in the science lab next door. I'm sure they can explain themselves. Streetwise, Blades, could you two step into my office for a minute? Yeah, Doc? There's something on your last physical that has Optimus and I... concerned. And what would that be? Your cybernetic code. It just doesn't match up with what it should be. Yeah, and could you explain why when I give you an assignment and it's marked off as complete, an inspection shows it was never done? Oh, uh... well... you see... Alright, what happened? Yeah, I was busy aligning the engines. This better be good. Someone has shot Ratchet and Optimus. Looks like a double homicide. Where was everyone? Streetwise and I were in the science lab when we heard gunshots. But when we came over, we didn't see anyone. I think it was Hot Rod. Me? Why me? Because Optimus is dead. Come on! Just because Optimus is dead does not mean I killed him! Why do I always get blamed for this? Wait, weren't you working on the power couplings in the vents a moment ago? That means nothing! Mm, I see Hot Rod did it. Works for me. Are we all in agreement? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's mm -hmm. yeah, definitely I am. for me. Wait, we have imposters on board? Your hero just get betrayed by a former commander? Heal gun, and the pain is done. Okay. I can't believe we're going to be in a movie. I heard that they're bringing in a robot so big, he's basically his own planet. Plotting my demise as usual, Starscream? Not at all. The Hasbro executives are coming today to discuss our roles in the new movie since the toys are selling based on us are doing so well. Movie, eh? Well, if it's gonna be any good, we better be destroying the whole of the Autobot army this time. I'm getting so sick of all of our shots missing everything in this disaster they call a show. 
It's entirely logical that they may reduce our numbers as well, if nothing more than to even the stakes. Don't be ridiculous, Shockwave. The Autobots are weaklings. There's no way they could take us down. All right, Decepticons. We finished the script and... Oof! Are you all right there? Hopefully, for your sake, you've made us the instruments of destruction we truly are! Well, uh, see for yourself. Attack the Autobots. Looking good so far. Hey, I got to kill Ironhide. <laughs> it's about time. Devastator gets a big scene. He'll like that. I bet he would. What do I get? Uh, seems like you get to wield me and take out Ratchet and Brawn. Yes! Hey! What's the big idea? It says Optimus gets the better of me, and then I only get to take him out because of a cheap shot! Then I die?! Yup. It's been two years of your toy in North America. Everyone that wanted one has bought them already, and sales are stagnating. We have to replace you somehow. Replaced? NOBODY REPLACES MEGATRON! Well, hold on a minute, your lordship. You're not the only season one character being let go here. Don't go thinking you're special. Wait, wait a minute. We're all getting replaced? Skywarp, you might want to get in here. You called? Yeah. Turns out we're getting killed off. What? You're killing me off? As I explained, sales are stagnating. We have to buy new characters. New Autobots are all lined up and we're still doing casting calls for new Decepticons. But the point remains, we can't keep the guys on anymore. Does that mean Thundercracker too? Yep. Hold on, I'm a blue jet. I basically print money from seven-year-olds. Sales data is never wrong. I suppose the logical question to ask then is who is all remaining? Well, sales are up for Soundwave and Starscream. <laughs> So we're considering making him the leader of the Decepticons. Yes! What? It's about time! This is outrageous! Take that, almighty oh Megatron! I will finally be the new leader of the Decepticons! You couldn't lead heads to a picnic, Starscream! How in the world do you become leader? Well, after the battle, the Decepticons are going to eject all the Season 1 characters from Master Train while in space in this emotional send-off and the rest of the Decepticons reluctantly relinquish leadership to Starscream, realizing that he's the real leader they all need in this difficult time. <laughs> what? Stop laughing! <laughs> hey, you hate to say the leader we all need? Oh, oh man! That's <laughs> it! <laughs> two goons now! <laughs> okay, man. Look, uh, can I offer uh, some great. suggestions so we can stay on? Well, what did you have in mind? Well, how about instead of killing us off, we just get rebuilt into better robots? That's... not a bad idea, what? actually. What? No! This script is perfect! Don't you dare change a thing! Hang on, Starscream. Trust me on this one. I'll make sure you still get your coronation scene. You better! Because if I don't get my lead as the head of the Decepticons, I'm taking it out on you! Oh, don't get your coronation, alright. Coronation Starscream, this is bad comedy. Megatron, is that you? Here's a hint. Calvatron transforms into his space cannon and blasts Starscream into a brittle husk that crumbles to ashes. Thundercracker, this is gold! Have you ever considered becoming a screenwriter? Tango 4-2 to base, I finally cut out the radar blip we had. Tango 4-2, what do you see? Well, there's two jets here. Uh, let's see. Both of them have Decepticon logos, sir. Decepticons? In our airspace? I wonder what they want. Not sure, they're just... Wait! One of them has an upside-down insignia! Tangle 4-2, engage, engage, engage! Uh...